Remembering the life and legacy of comedian Bob Saget, who died over the weekend at the age of 65 tonight. To many of us, he was one of America's favorite TV dads. To comedian Gilbert Gottfried, Bob Saget was a colleague and a friend. And Gilbert is joining us live tonight to talk more about Bob's life and legacy. Uh, Mr. Gottfried, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you. You know, I was reading some headlines today about Bob Saget, and one caught my attention, and I'd love to get your thoughts. It said, the duality of Bob Saget is what made him special. America's dad and the crassest comedian you have ever heard. These were not contradictions. They were complimentary. So talk to me about these two sides of Bob, your friend. Yeah, it, it was funny. I remember when the movie The Aristocrats came out, and people were saying, uh, Oh, we can't believe Bob Saget said those things he did. And to people who knew him, you know, we couldn't believe he'd say anything but those things. And uh, I, I remember I would talk to him and it was always like it, it never got into a touchy feely or or sincere to if, if the conversation turned sincere or serious we both immediately go to disgusting and obscene. And that's where uh, we both enjoyed it. And he was a lot of fun. He was so quick. You had said earlier today that you were shocked to hear the news. It really hadn't sunk in. Uh, where were you and who told you what had happened? I uh, was with my wife. We were having dinner and uh, the phone rings and uh, it, it was Jeff Ross on the phone, and he said, I've got sad news for you. Bob Saget died. And I think I may have even, like, laughed a little bit because I thought, well, this is uh, a bad taste joke coming up. And I was looking, I was waiting for him to say the punchline. And that the punchline never showed up. And then uh, I checked with other people, and they were saying, Oh, it might be a hoax. And, th and that that also sadly wasn't true. Uh, and I'm I'm still I'm still like waiting for the punchline to show up and know that this whole thing was a bad taste joke. Mm -hmm. I know that you had spoken with him recently. There are reports that he had COVID in the last few weeks or months. Were you aware of any health issues that Bob might have had? He, he mentioned that he had COVID, uh, but he seemed to be getting better from it. And uh, other than that, he was his typical self, you know, very sarcastic, very much a smart ass and, uh, and very much uh, Bob Saget. Hmm. And he was doing what he loved. I mean, in a tweet just a couple of days ago, he said, I am back in comedy like I was when I was 26. I guess I'm finding my new voice and I'm levering every moment of it. Uh, you talked to him recently. What did it mean for him to be back on stage telling jokes in front of an audience? It, it seemed like he had a whole other life starting, like he, he got married again uh, and and it's... He, he loved for live performing. And uh, they, were, they said after he got off stage, he, uh, he was very excited. He did two hours and loved every minute of uh, performing up there. The other side of him, Gilbert, of course, is in his role as Danny Tanner on Full House. We've heard it mentioned, America's favorite dad. What did that show, that cast, that role mean to him? I was reading some articles today, and he said at one point he thought he lost his funny gene doing that show because he wasn't doing comedy the way that he had done. What did he tell you about um, that role on his life? I, I think he kind of... Um... Someone said they were talking to, he kind of identified with me or we identified with each other because both of us were doing like family stuff. And like I had, you know, done Aladdin and he was doing uh, Full House. And then so there was that Jekyll Hyde personality uh, going on. But he was, I mean, he had nothing to be ashamed of with Full House because, uh, People loved him on that. And and I heard he saw that uh, cast as his family. 
and and saw the Olsen twins as his children. And we've heard from so many of them today. I heard I heard one cast member say that Bob Saget gave the best hugs of anybody that they had ever had. Uh, tell me something about Bob that most people wouldn't know. I know he played the played the guitar, but tell me something um, that that only friends would know about him. Oh God. Um... Uh, what what a perverted uh, sense of humor he had, <laughs> <laughs> and that that's what I, I I enjoyed most about him. It it's like there was certainly you knew nothing you said in front of him he'd be offended by, and and I loved everything he'd come up with. He was so quick. Well, and if you had some time, you know, to think about the impact he had on you as a person and as a friend, but also a comedian, uh, what was his secret to success? What impact did it have on you and other comedians? I, I think of Norm Macdonald in that roast. He said, I can't say anything bad about you because I like you so much. Yeah, it's, uh, he, he was, um, I mean, he, look how many people he made happy through all, you know, millions of people on uh you know uh full house and uh and funniest videos and and then the other side of him that was deranged and a smart ass and he was great at both of them that's right as i said and, earlier and not contradictions complimentary you're gonna say one more thing oh and i remember too one thing that i was sitting by myself watching tv and i saw him pop up he on tv being interviewed and they asked him about the uh the bob saget roast which i was part of the roasters and they said what was it like being roasted the entire evening and he said uh it it was great because i was surrounded by wonderful people and gilbert gottfried <laughs> <laughs> As always, good for a laugh. Gilbert Godfrey, yes. thank you for sharing some of your memories of Bob with us tonight. Um, he was always good for a laugh. America's favorite dad to many of us, a friend to you. I'm sorry for the loss. Thank you again. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.